All right, so we're at Fat Mama's Tamales. Got some tamales there. And, and a, some boudin. And a knock-you naked margarita. A knock-you naked mar margarita. So the first time we came to Natchez, they had a little store down the street, kind of a log... Log cabin. Log cabin type thing, and uh, they uh, they built this big one. And uh, best best tamales ever. They're really, really good. So, so we got... A, we got a dozen each. Yeah. So I we hope, have I we have a lot of we have a lot of eating to do. So um, I'll flip you around, let you look at the place. Hold on. Ooh, kind of a cool open air kind of shop. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna start. eat because we're hungry. We're gonna start eating all these tamales. All right, later. So we're back at the hotel. Guess where? Oh, the Holiday Inn Express where because, the shampoo smells so good. Because the shampoo smells so good. <laughs> so, but we got some <clears throat> wine for later. We went to a winery. It's the Old South Winery. Old South Winery. And we got some bottles. So we will be enjoying those later. Uh, we had a little wine tasting and tasted... All of their sweet wines, which was how many? Like seven, six, seven, eight. I think we tasted six. Six. That's just their sweet, and they have a bunch of uh, dry. Bunch of we didn't really try those, too. but we bought um, two bottles each of the ones we liked. Yes. And now we're back at the hotel to you. take a nap. To take a nap because we had a lot of tamales for lunch. Fat yeah. Mama's tamales. Um, here's my margarita <laughs> cup. Still has salt on the Still room. Still has salt on it. I didn't like it all up. <clears throat> um, we also went to the Old South Trading Post, um, where we got some pickled Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. and some sweet potato butter, which is yum. Like, I could just eat it out the jar. And then some strawberry jalapeno preserves. That's good. It was yummy too. That was good. And then I also got some assorted chocolates because they make chocolates there. So, so we're going to have a little picnic later. Um, yeah. Actually, we're going to go to our mixology we're, we're class. We're going to a mixing after class. After our nap. At a bar. And after that, then maybe we'll go to um, so on the, the river guy, and have a little. The guy at the Leonard. winery said that the cemetery is a good place to go drink his wine and see the river. Because I guess it's the best spot to. Go see um, the river so, run we, by. so we're gonna go to the cemetery, I guess. We may be having wine and cheese and chocolate in the cemetery, which could be interesting. So um, we'll see. About that. Mm -hmm. All right, bye. Bye. Hey YouTube, so we're at Natchez. Uh, National Cemetery. National Cemetery. So uh, we are at the mixology class and the bartender. Um, the place we're at is supposedly haunted and we're telling little stories about haunted places. And he said to visit the cemetery. So we're here at the cemetery. He told us a story about the angel in the back. What she's doing, she's writing down, what's the story? She's writing down There names. was an explosion at a drug company here in Natchez. Um, and five of the workers were killed. And so she's, they're all really young, like kids. Yeah. If, well, I was just looking at the ages 12, 19, 17, 22, like really young women. And so the angel behind us was erected by the drug company, and she is scri inscribing their names in the Book of Life. So she's writing Look, their names down. Writing the names down in the Book of Life. So here's, here's their graves. Uh, but you don't realize so long ago how young the kids were who were working there. I mean, these were young women just on the beginning of their life, gone. But the angel, supposedly, when you come in at night, if you come in with your headlights on, no matter what direction you come from, it looks like she's facing you. It has something to do with the way her wings and her head are faced that it doesn't matter if you're coming from behind her or in front of her that you it always looks like she's looking at you 
So um, we came a little before dark, so we could do some videos. So I think they close at dusk. dusk yeah. So, so I'm not sure how you get the headlights on her unless you break in the cemetery or you pass. I mean, the gates here close, so I guess if you pass from the outside, you can see her with your headlights. So I don't know. We may may do a drive by later. <clears throat> Check that out. All right. So there's another little view of Natchez. Yeah. The river is actually right there. Right there. I could probably throw. Actually, he said if you go up this hill up here, throw a little stone and hit the river from here. So, all right, we're gonna continue on. All right, guys. So the owner operator of the winery. the winery that we went to said this is the place in Natchez to go to enjoy a bottle of wine and some cheese at the cemetery <laughs> so that's two people that we met in town the locals that said go to, go the, to the, cemetery. the cemetery one to drink wine and one to go look at scary um, statues yes so I'm gonna flip you around and you'll see why so we're gonna turn around from up here so there's the river there's the river and the sunset. And the sunset. Now you can see why. Why he told us to come here. Because it I is mean, beautiful. The view from here is beautiful. There's a couple seats right here where you can sit and enjoy the sunset. So look at that sunset. It's, I agree, it's, it's the, uh, the best view. It's beautiful from here. See the widow's walk on that side? Yeah. I'd, I'd spend a lot of money to put that widow's walk on. That's the perfect widow's walk. We're talking about the, uh, the widow's walk on top of that house right there. You can see it up on top of the building. Isn't that the perfect pipe smoking deck? <laughs> so you go up there, they call it the Widow's Walk because that's where the uh, sea captain's wives would go to the top of their, oh, to the top of the house and wait for the, the, the ships to come in. And um, they always kept a jar on the railing or up there and they would cry a tear and catch their tears in the little, in the little jar and they keep it on the deck. And then they'd present um, that jar of tears to the captains or whoever came in, their husbands that came in and said, look, this is how much I've missed you. Here's my jar of tears. I cried every night that you're gone. Pretty cool. So we found a cute little place to park. It'd be the awesome parking spot. <clears throat> so there's Rachel. And here's what I'm looking at. pretty so we're gonna go park <laughs> we gotta go christen no. the new car. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna be christening the car. We do have a bottle of wine we need to drink. Well, that might happen. There's actually a trail that runs down that way. Little pond looks like down there. I'll walk this trail up, and then it continues on the trail. You can see the the sidewalk all along there. It goes down to the riverboat. There's the riverboat mm -hmm. there. Casino and the really old bridge. <laughs> 